already see it happening, um, even in terms of what the current administration is trying to do, which is to provide uh, abortions on federal property. We will see this from um, a federal level, the, the, the push for, for those types of things. As I mentioned, chemical abortions uh, will, will continue to be uh, pushed by uh, Planned Parenthood and other abortion organizations. And, uh, you know, as Bill mentioned, even though um, Roe was overruled through the Dobbs decision, uh, this doesn't mean that it can't change back. And so we, we have to continue to be on alert. Uh, obviously, this current administration had also talked about adding more justices to the Supreme Court. Uh, and and it's, it's a problem when um, ideology gets in the way of the, the, the function of what our branches are supposed to do. And I'll just mention that having worked at Health and Human Services um, in the executive branch, there, there can be abuses of powers in each of the branches. Um, and I will say that currently we're facing threats in, regula in the form of regulations that will be coming out of Health and Human Services, especially on the abortion issue, on the uh, gender identity issue. In the next, I would say in the next few weeks, we will see uh, a regulation on section 1557 that will come out that will try to force uh, hospitals, including faith-based hospitals, including Catholic hospitals to do abortions, to um, participate in um, transition surgeries, et cetera. Uh, we will, there, there's also talk of a new regulation that will, um, rescind the conscience protections that were passed by uh, legislators, some of them decades ago, to protect the rights of conscience of healthcare workers from having to be involved in, in such um, objectionable services. And so the, the threats are in different ways, both from um, federal perspective, uh, but also from the executive branch. Uh, and, and so we have to continue building a culture of life at every stage, as I mentioned, um, to come alongside women and children and families and to, and, and to build a culture of life from, from within. Um, you know, Christians were known for, during, during the Roman time, for saving babies that were exposed. So when, when they didn't want the babies, they let them, they put them in the woods or somewhere to, to be exposed and to die. And the Christians went and saved those babies. Um, and we're, we're called to do the same. We've, we've been doing that, but we really will have to step up our game now that more babies will be born as a result of the Dobbs decision and Roe being overruled. And the, the fight will continue. And as Bill said, until the second coming, we will continue fighting uh, and we, we won't have that full final victory until then. Well, I, I mean, I, I would just again read the, uh, the holding of the court, no such right is implicitly protected by any constitutional provision, end quote. So <clears throat> I have no doubt that pro-abortion people will make all kinds of arguments but uh, about other provisions of the constitution, but the court has closed that door. And uh, now if the composition of the court changes, who knows? But I don't think that's, you know, Yes, pro-abortion people are going to make arguments, but this court has held there is no right to abortion at any place in the Constitution of the United States. And they said it as clear as a bell. So you're not going to come up with some clever theory that's going to convince this court they missed it. They said it. It's not there explicitly, and no such right is implicitly protected by any constitutional provision. 